This is Brian Ierson, one of the instructors at the Computer Workshop. In this week's video, we're going to go over how you can use autocorrect and autocomplete in Microsoft Word to help you speed up your overall work process. Correct your common spelling mistakes as you make them, as well as how you can create your own personal shorthand to speed up your text entry. So to begin, we need to go to the options which can be found by either going to File in the ribbon and choosing Options from the very bottom left of the Backstage view. Or if you'd like to learn a new keyboard shortcut, you can try using the Alt key. Now remember, when using the Control keys, it is a combination. You hold down the Control key and you tap the other key in order to trigger an action. With the Alt, they will be sequential. To begin with, if you tap the Alt key on your keyboard while working in this application, you will see it brings up all of these boxes and numbers, which will allow you to navigate the interface of the application. Now, I want to go to the File tab, so I will tap the letter F, as you can see right there. And then I can see all of the commands that are available in the back office or the backstage, I should say, with their appropriate shortcuts listed. Now in this case, I want to come all the way down and take note that the options is the letter T. If I tap the letter T, I am now going to open up my options window. Now that you know that sequence, I'm going to go ahead here and demonstrate how quickly you can access your options by using your Alt key sequencing. So I'm going to escape out of the Word options. When I run my keyboard sequence now, Alt F T, one, two, three, Word will open up the options window very, very quickly. Okay, so now that we are in the options window, we want to look at the list of categories here on the left and locate proofing. This will allow you access to the autocorrect options button right here at the top of the options panel. And we are looking at the autocorrect right here. You'll notice that you have math autocorrect, auto format as you type, auto format as well as actions. You can look at all of these other options, but for now we are going to focus on autocorrect to create shortcuts, or should I say uh, shorthand, as well as common spelling mistakes that you yourself make but, but would like to have corrected as you make them. I'm going to begin by focusing here on this replace text as you type category or area within this window and start by clicking into my replace. Here I can start to consider adding in acronyms for things that I type often. Maybe it's the company name, maybe it's a, a business process. So as an example here, I'm going to type in TCW in all caps, and you can see that I have already added that before to type in the Computer Workshop Inc. Now let's say that I would like to create another one for the Learn for Free Friday videos. Instead of having to type all of that text, I'm going to start creating my own shorthand. So L, F, F, and that's going to be my shorthand to type in this next phrase. So I could either click into the with window or simply tab over into that space and type in the full text that I would like to have that acronym replaced with. So learn for free Friday and tap add. This will now be added to the list of autocorrects. So anytime I'm using this either in Word or any of the other Microsoft applications, when I type capital L F F, it will automatically replace that with Learn for Free Friday. Now I would like to go ahead and create an autocorrect for a common mistyping. 
So often as I'm typing, I'm in a hurry and I might mistype the word the by typing in T-H-W-E. Sometimes I accidentally hit that by mistake because I'm going fast. So I don't really want to have to go through my spell check. I don't want to have to come back and correct that. So now I'm going to put in the correct spelling so that as I type and I make that mistake, it will automatically just correct it for me. I'm going to tap the add button on this. We can now tap the OK. We can now tap the OK to close the Word Options window also. In a new document, here I'm just going to bring up a new document, and I'm going to accidentally type in my spelling mistake. And as I was typing, I would type in my Word. I'm going to now tap the space bar, and you see it is instantly corrected. I can also use my shorthand. And when I tap the spacebar, I got the full phrase. I hope that you found today's tutorial interesting and useful. If you did, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We do put out videos on a regular basis, and you never know what's going to come up. In fact, if you'd like to request a video, please feel free to add that in the comments below. But don't forget, you can check us out on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. You can also find a list of classes that are coming up or any other information by visiting our website at tcworkshop.com. So until next time, take care for now.